There's a very important question I get a lot. Can you take an image of an outfit and generate AI models at different angles? The answer is yes. The first AI tool I'm going to use is a familiar one. If you're new to this channel, you may not know this, but if you are not new, outfitchanger.com is what we are going to be using. And then the second one is a new AI tool that I'll introduce to you later. This is how outfitchanger.com looks. The link is going to be in my description. So you click on get started for free. Then it will, you have to sign up. I'm already signed in into my account and this is how it looks now the first panel is for the model and the second is for the outfit the third is going to create a mask and then this is going to be your final result i'm going to click on the image here and we are going to get our model i'm going to start with a back image if you want to check on how to do an image in the front it's really similar you can just check the previous videos i've also done but this is more important a lot of people have been asking for back and side so this is a back image and as I said for the best results let the image be of high quality and let the picture of the model wearing the outfit be quite similar to the outfit you have. This is my outfit this is like a, a shirt right a long sleeve shirt as you can see it's similar to what she's wearing just a different color and texture etc. Now over here the AI is going to guess the back so you really need to put a description here to let it know that it's a back image you want give it as much information of the back as possible because as you can see we don't have an image of the back if we had an image of the back of the garment it would have been simple we probably won't even need a prompt or a description but with this we do okay so in the description you're going to type back view of um navy blue heavy blue women's shirt something like this works okay next we just scroll down and click on try on it'll take a few seconds to create the mask and then in about 35 or 36 seconds our image will be generated all right and we are done so as you can see it has generated the image of the navy blue shirt and it's the back view okay now let's do another image and i'll show you how to do a side view in the next one we're going to upload a new model image so i'm going to use this image for the side view bear with me i picked this image online so it even has some text underneath here which I don't recommend you do or you can just crop it out so i'm gonna just go with side view so instead of the back i just say side view of navy blue women's shirt right and then we are going to scroll down and then we're gonna click try on So it's going to take some time to create the mask and then it's going to generate it. Okay, so in this image, we have a bit of a, a roll up sleeve here, but it has the shirt feel and it's navy and it works out. You probably have to crop this. So when you're done with the image, there's a download button here and you click on it and then you download it. Now I'm going to show you how to use another AI tool to create this effect. So with Outfit Changer, just remember to put in the description beneath the outfit, the back view or the side view so that the AI understands which side it needs to put the clothes on. If you do it without putting a description in, it's going to look kind of wonky. <laughs> All right, now let's move to the next AI tool. All right, this is how you wear AI looks. This is the AI tool we are going to be using. Now with this, you need to upload the clothes separately. So that's the first step. So we go to manage item, right? Item manager. And then we are going to upload the top that we want the model to wear. Now it gives two options, the front and the back. This is like the back. We just want the front for now, so we are just going to click on the front one and then we are going to upload the image. This is the top we want the model to wear. Yeah, we can just give it a name randomly, so it's easy to find. But you can just add something like a white blouse or a white top, white floral blouse, that works. We are done. So the AI is going to load it up and now we have the item. Now we go to create 
the image, it generates the image, right? So it gives us options of whether it's a top, it's a bottom, it's a product. And um, first we pick the item, which is the top, it's the only one we have right now. And then we give a product description. And this is really like a prompt. With this particular tool, you have to describe everything because the AI is going to give you the model. You don't select your model like from other tools, right? So we want a young lady with long hair wearing this blouse, right? This is simple, right? And we're going to let her smile, smiley. I love models that smile. So we choose the front, which is how the image is. And the number of images to generate will take out of your points. So I'm going to take two images to generate. So I just use two points or two credits. So it's going to take some time for the AI to do its magic and get the model in your blouse. All right, now we have results. These look very nice. So the AI gave me a more natural environment with the model with the hair out and um, in exactly the same blouse. Now I just click on the bottom to download it. Now this is more studio lo look. Click on the arrow button at the bottom, download. I'm using both of these, they're very nice. So now let's try the back view, okay? Because we did not upload the back view of the top, you cannot select it over here. So we are going back. So we'll have to go back to manage the items and we're going to edit item. And then over here, we see that we can add the back, right? So we'll just click on this so we can upload the back. All right. Save item when we are done. Okay, it's going to take a while. And then when we go to generate images, okay, you notice that when we pick the item, now just you have to go back to pick the item. <laughs> when we pick the item, you see that the option to generate the back is clickable. So we are going to do that. And then we can put a description. Beautiful lady with brown hair. So we, we are trying to keep it consistent wearing this blouse. So we are, we are trying to keep it consistent. Now. I'm running out of points, so I'm just going to use one <laughs> to show you how that works. So now it, the AI is generating the back view of the same blouse. Ta-da! We have the back view. So let's just maximize that. Wow, beautiful. It does look like the same model. Um, yeah. And it's exactly how the blouse is. So at the bottom, you can download and you are good to go. So now let's look at them side by side. They can almost pass. I mean, the first and the, the last image can almost pass for the same. The background seem similar as well. So you could use this for e-commerce. Now you get three points or three credits when you sign up for free for this AI tool, I'm just changing that to dollars. So you see the prices. Now these are the prices for um, the different plans they have. They also have a free plan. As I said, that's three points. And after you, you use up your, your three points or your credits, you can buy credits. It costs 50 cents per credit and the minimum you can buy is 20 credits. So you're spending $10 to get 20 credits and with 20 credits you can generate 20 images all right so with this you can do front and back you can do pants like bottoms you can do tops and etc now this is you where ai i have the link to it in the description thanks for watching bye